Welcome, everyone. We call this time Worship Night. Um, I'm not going to take it for granted that everyone is understand what it means. But I'll give you a story. And I'm giving the story because of something that I heard recently. Last week, we had somebody, a guest speaker, and the title of his preaching was Do Not Forget, Remember. And the reason why he said it is this. There are many stories, if you, if you read the Bible, there are many stories in the Bible some of us have been hearing since we were little. Some of us heard in our adult age and we've heard it over and over. And there is a risk of complacency in the sense that when somebody starts to talk about it, the next thing your mind's telling you is, I know the story. But the issue is not, I know the story. The issue is, what is the Bible trying to tell you? Because today, believe me, the Bible is alive in the sense that today that story will tell you one thing. You will learn one thing from it. And tomorrow when somebody brings it up or you go and read it, you would see something else entirely. Not because those words have changed, but because the Bible is alive and it keeps teaching. So, remember... Jesus was going somewhere and he had to stop on the way in Samaria. And the Bible records that because Jesus had to go through Samaria, Jesus didn't need to go, didn't have to. Because Bible scholars found out that Jews will normally avoid that route because they didn't like mixing with Sam Samaritans. But the Bible says Jesus needed to go through there and for those of us who know the story he met with a woman at the well and he had a conversation with her and when you read the story to the end you will understand why Jesus needed to go through Samaria because that woman needed salvation and the people in that town needed salvation but one thing that we always remember when we talk about worship is one comment Jesus said he said for a day will come when those who worship the Father will worship Him in spirit and in truth. Now, the common thing we say as Christians is our lives are forms of worship. So your everyday life, the way you treat your people, they are, the Bible says you should do it for God's glory. But tonight, what we're going to do is worship with singing. Not because we can sing, but because God values music. God values song. Revelations records that in heaven, the angels, they stood before the throne crying, Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. That is one thing we know we'll take with us singing music and an important ingredient in this worship we're going to do today we don't want to do it like our normal routine church service where every time we have an agenda where we say okay this time is singing this time is preaching this time is offering time no what we want is to worship God in freedom so, if you feel when you're singing, you want to worship by sitting, worship God. If you feel you want to stand, worship God. If you feel you want to sit on the floor, worship God. Just worship God in spirit and in truth. Let your heart be involved with this worship. Because if the heart is wrong, 
your worship is wrong. And you know the funny thing, if you came here, you know, for those who, who, who you know God already, and you say you came to worship God, and you're not doing it right, then who did you do it for? In this country, our time is very precious. So if you give one minute to something, you need to make it worth it. So what we're going to do this evening is this. Before we start anything, we're going to tell God like David said. You know, today we're going to focus so much on what David did. Because the one person, when you talk about worship in the Bible, that did it and did it with his heart is David. David loved the Lord. And the Bible records that God himself said, this is a man after my heart. Was David perfect? No. But it was a man after God's heart. And David said in Psalm 139, he said, search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there's any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. So I want you in the quiet of your heart if you know how to pray, you don't know what to pray, just say, search my heart, Lord. Search my heart, Lord. Know my heart. Test me. Know my anxious thought. God knows them. I can assure you. But tell him, see if there's any offensive way in me. Anything that would not make me worship you the way you want to be worshipped and lead me in the way everlasting. Search me, O oh God. Know my heart, know my ways. If there's anything offensive in me that will not please you, that will walk against me worshipping you in spirit and in truth, purge me. Wash me clean. Jesus, the blood of Jesus, we know as Christians, is enough, is more than enough to make us clean before him. It is a privilege to worship God. Without that sacrifice, there is nothing that we can do. The Bible says that the goats, animals they killed in the past was not even enough to save them. We are celebrating the Easter period now. Why? Because Christians believe that Jesus went to the cross so that we all wouldn't have to. Jesus took the pain so that we all wouldn't need to. Jesus shed his blood so that we can be washed clean. So search my heart.
reasons David's life was pleasing. Like I said before, David pants, panted for the word of God. He panted for God. He panted for the things of God. He said, I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. He said, better is one day in your house than a thousand elsewhere. That was how much he meant to God. And this is what God wants in worship. Chase after me. Run after me. Seek me and you will find me. I love you and I need you to do the same. But you see the Bible says he is faithful anyway. Because sometimes the heart of flesh, not sometimes, correction, all the time. The heart of the flesh struggles with God. But God wants you. You know the most popular psalm in the Bible Psalm 23. People don't realize that that's David's summary of who God was to him and what God has done for him and how he saw himself before God and how he came to find God and know God. David's faith was unshakable. David was a horrible father though. But God said he was a man after my heart. Because David was humble. God raised David, trained David in the wilderness. He anointed David as a teenager. David did not ascend the throne till he was around 40 years. David had the opportunity to kill Saul, whom God anointed previously. David did not take that opportunity because Saul was still the anointed of God. As the deer panteth for the water, so my soul longeth.
have worship night every year, right? And this year, we decided to take it most like, it wasn't like we weren't taking it seriously, but we decided to go all the way. So we fasted and we prayed. And of course, the expectation is we did what God wanted us to. But you see, this period, that's when people lost their voices. That's when people started having one sickness or the other. And that's when someone lost a loved one. This morning I woke up, I couldn't hear my voice. And I was in tears. But you see, I told myself, even if I came here that way, and I couldn't sing, I will worship. I will mind, but I will worship. So we are all here to worship. We are standing in front because there has to be order in the house of God, so we will lead. But you see, we are staying in different positions, but we are all here to worship. So please do not look at us. Look at Jesus, who you've come here to worship. Look at Jesus, who we've come here to worship. Let him inhabit the praises of his people. Make him the center of everything that happens here. Make the Holy Spirit the one you look onto to perform that which you've been asking for. The Holy Spirit is there. He's just waiting. He's just waiting for that man, for that woman, for that boy, for that girl who will tell themselves, Lord Jesus, I'm here for you. There is no greater joy than to worship you. We have been created for his pleasure. So we are here for his pleasure. And he desires that you long for him. He desires that you recognize that without him, you can't do anything. Like David. There is 
Worship like David did. David worshiped like there was just an audience of one. One good example was when the ark was being taken back to Jerusalem. And David danced his heart out because he wanted to welcome the presence of God. You know, in the Old Testament, the ark was a sign of the presence of God. It's not like now in the New Testament where we believe that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. But David danced. I don't know if he sang. But if he sang, he would have a beautiful voice. Believe me, we pick on his psalms like no man's business. So yeah, I will give my month's wages to agree that he did have a beautiful voice. We're going to do what David did. We will sing. We will dance. Like there's nobody watching. Like there's nobody listening. But Jehovah. But Yahweh. But Jesus. Hallelujah. I'll sing like there's nobody listening but you. Hallelujah. I'll dance like there's nobody watching but you. I'll worship. 
habits, praises of his people. David found that in his relationship with God. And he didn't take it for granted. We have the privilege to be provided the opportunity to praise him without a priest offering sacrifices, to worship him in the beauty of holiness. All we have to do is come through Jesus. Hallelujah. You can be together to worship and to praise God as a family look at somebody by your left by your right and say welcome welcome we've come to bless God together are you ready are you ready amen just want to read something quickly Ephesians 4 verse 3 it says you are joined together with peace through the Spirit. do all you can to continue as you are letting peace hold you together there is one body and one spirit and God chose you to have one hope there is one Lord one faith and one baptism there is one God and father of us all who rules over everyone he works through all of us and in all of us we've come to give God thanks and praise this evening Let's join together. Let's put our hands together and give him praise. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yeah. Oh, put your hands together.
don't not stop there, don't stop there. Just continue to give God the praise. Continue to give God the praise. Continue to give God the praise. For he is worthy to be praised and adored. Hallelujah. We give you the highest praise this evening, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Just for 30 seconds, why don't you just lift up your voice and give the fruit of your lips to your God Almighty. Just for 30 seconds, just lift up your voice. It is between you and God this evening. It is not between you and us. It's not between you and the choir. It's between you and the Almighty God. Lift up your voice and exalt the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the creator of heaven and earth, the master planner, the sovereign God, the almighty El Shaddai, the one who was and is and is to come. Father, we hail you this evening. We worship you this evening. Come on and press, press into the presence of the Lord. If you can speak in the, in the tongue of the Spirit, then do so. Whatever you have to do, just press into the presence of God. Because whatever you have come to seek this evening, it is not here in this auditorium physically, but it is in the presence of God. Heavenly Father, we set our eyes on you. We lift a new song unto you, O oh God, the song from our heart, which is a cry unto you, O oh God, that we want more of you, Spirit of the living God. We want more of you. Hey, that is sick, and I'm not going to be a baby. Hey, but I don't suck at you, Kitty, the baby, Samaka. We worship you, oh God. Hey, that I don't suck at you. Hey, but I don't suck at you, Kitty, the Oh God, how to press, how to press into the presence of the Most High, where we will find freedom, where we will find liberty, where we will find peace, where we will find joy. We cannot do this in our own flesh, oh God. We need you, Spirit of the Living God. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is in each and every one of us. He is our helper. The 
the Bible says, when two or three are gathered in his name, he is there in our midst. We are gathered in no other name but the name of the Lord, Jesus Christ. And today what we are seeking for, what we are pressing for, is the Shekinah glory of God. And that is the manifesting presence of God. That manifesting presence that when it falls, chains are broken. The brokenhearted are healed. That is where we find deliverance. That is where we find freedom. That is where we find our peace to keep going. That is where we find our strength to keep going. Keep pressing, keep pressing into that presence of God that the Shekinah of glory of God will fall in this place. Lord, we want to see you. We want to see your power. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can think or ask. The Bible doesn't say that he will do exceedingly. The Bible says that he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what you can think or ask. My question this evening to you is what are you thinking? And what are you asking? What is your expectation this evening? The angels are here and the spirit of the living God is here. And he will do according to what you believe, according to your faith. So press, press. Has he not said and will he not do? Father, we put our faith and our hope in you. Boys 
nothing else to it so make it your own prayer make it your own worship and press into the presence of the living God like I said earlier on what is your expectation what are you expecting to receive from the Lord the Bible says bless the Lord all my soul and forget not his benefits that verse means thank him for everything that he has done for you. But in this context, I want you to also think, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not his benefits, meaning that I have an expectation of what he can do for me. I have an expectation of what he can change in me. I have an expectation of how he can meet my needs. I have an expectation of what he can do in the lives of my children. I have an expectation of what he can do in my ministry, in my finances, whatever it may be. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not his benefits. I will lift up my voice to you, oh God as a sacrifice unto you i will exalt your holy name may my worship rise before you like a sweet fragrance come down spirit of the living god and dwell in my worship sing it again
declare your glory every knee shall bow at your throne in worship you will be exalted oh god and your kingdom shall not pass away sing it again every time Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. In worship you be exalted, O oh God. And your kingdom shall not pass away. tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory every knee shall bow at your throne in worship you be exalted O God and your kingdom shall not pass away song in heaven as earth shall declare your glory every knee shall bow at your throne in worship you will be exalted O oh God you will be exalted O oh God over those things that we have created ourselves and has put us in that situation we are you will be exalted you will be exalted you will be exalted you do not need man to be who you are you will be exalted you are God in heaven and on earth you will be exalted and every knee will bow to that great name you will be exalted in our worship you will be exalted in our praise you will be exalted you are enthroned on how you will be exalted you are exalted Jehovah you are exalted Yahweh you are exalted King of glory you are exalted redeemer of our souls you are exalted god of our salvation you are exalted oh god and your kingdom your kingdom your kingdom will not pass away the kingdom of men can pass away your kingdom will not pass away. The kingdom of men can pass away, but you remain the same. The 
same. You haven't changed from the time of old. You haven't changed since the first century when your church was created. You will not change today. time with the Lord. The Lord was just, he was just ministering to me about thanksgiving. How it's so important to thank the Lord. Psalms 100 actually says it's a prerequisite to actually entering his courts. We enter with thanksgiving and with praise. So today there's a quick song um, called Thank You, Thank You, My Lord. Um, we just want to thank the Lord. So it goes, thank you, thank you, my Lord. I want to thank you, my Lord. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. How many of you are blessed this evening? How many of you are thankful this evening? You know, the fact that you can walk is a blessing. That you can talk is a blessing. That you can see is a blessing. You know, there's so many blessings we take for granted. That's why the Lord was ministering to me. There's so many things to be thankful for. There's so many things to be grateful for. Hallelujah. So there's this song. I don't know if a lot of you know about it. It's called All Other Gods. They are the works of man.
adoration. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords, the Ancient of Days. He deserves the praise and the honor. Our hallelujah belongs to him. Our hallelujah belongs to you, Abba. Just lift up your voice. Just lift up your voice. Receive it to the Lord. Abba Father, Abba Father. Just worship the Lord this evening. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We worship you, Lord. He deserves our worship. He deserves our worship. So we cry hallelujah to you, Lord. Hallelujah to the King of Kings, the Lamb of God. Hosanna to your name, Hosanna to your name. He is the Amashiach, He is the Anointed One, the Anointed One, the Anointed One, the Anointed One, the Anointed One. The anointed. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Yes, Lord. You know, as you even enter his presence, just press in. It's a one-to-one, -one, your personal relationship with the Lord. Just press in. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. You just press in yourself. Just press in to worship. Press in to the presence of the Lord. Lord, we worship you. We give you our best. We give you the first fruits, oh Lord. He come on to her. Oh, we need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Not even in this worship night, oh God. We need your presence. Like Moses said, I'm not going to go anywhere. I don't want to go anywhere without your presence. So we need the presence of God. Lord, we need your presence. We need your presence, Lord. He come on your presence, Lord. We need your presence, Lord. Our hallelujah belongs to Jesus. Our hallelujah belongs to the Lord. It belongs to him and to him alone. Because he's a jealous God. No other gods, every other God is the work of man. He is the most high, El Elyon. Lord, yes, Lord, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you glory, Almighty God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. 
God, hallelujah. 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 We give you glory, almighty God.
place, Lord, we exalt you this evening. We exalt your name, oh Lord. We exalt your name. It doesn't matter what we're going through. It doesn't matter the circumstance. We will choose to exalt you, Lord. We choose to exalt you. It's a choice. We choose to worship you. We worship you, Lord. Because you deserve it, oh Lord. Somebody worship the Lord in this place, say, Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crowns and worship. Oh, be lifted above.
lift unto the Lord is an expression of our worship. The way we live our lives as Christians should reflect worship in every aspect. See, I remember the time where that wasn't how I lived my life. And we've all been in that place before God so graciously called us. We had so many other gods erected in our hearts. Whether it be ambition or money, whether it be that desire to be loved, whether whatever it was, we, we all had gods. Gods that we created, gods that we placed. We even went as far as putting cr our own crowns on our head. Crowns of rebellion. And for some of us, maybe we even wore that with pride. Like it was something to be proud of. God is so gracious. God is so merciful. I just want you for a brief moment to just think. Just think how, look how far he's brought you. Think of the times where you thought you didn't have strength to carry on. You didn't see a way out of a situation you were going through. Think about times that you put trust in friends or family, things of this world. Oh, bills are, bills are a lot, so I have to work overtime to, to be able to cover that. But these things have failed us. But I don't know, I, I, I know that there is one who never fails. Amen? There is one who never fails. That no matter what we go through, no matter what we face, no matter how bleak it may look, he is right there with us, walking through the fire. He is right there with us, being the peace in the storm. He is right there with us, comforting us. So church, I just want you to step out of the way Lay whatever is on your heart that you think may be obstructing you from, from having that intimate fellowship with God. Now is the time that God wants to, to begin to break down these altars that we've made, these gods that we've erected, because he is the only God, the living God.
want to sing a song I mean it when you say you lay your crown to worship him he speaks of submission how many times has God told us go this way do this thing say these words and we thought oh no I think I know this better I've been in here ages it's worked for me in the past so Jesus just give me a bit of room but when you say you lay your crown to worship him you lay everything that you are you lay down your privileges you lay down all your achievements you forget who you are when you come before the king of glory and all you do is worship and plead for the grace to submit with all your heart at the beginning of this this program I said something I said last Sunday the person who preached one thing he said was to not forget remember remember all the things you know about the Bible all the things you know about the God you serve and actually put it to practice and when I say we ask for the grace to submit we need grace to submit every day how many times have you worked through walked through your life your day and you didn't commit it into the hands of God why because you're so used to being in control so when you say we lay our crowns I lay my crown and worship him say it in your heart and in it Thank you, Lord, because you keep watching over your people. 
thank you, Lord, because you are faithful. And even our faithlessness cannot change that. But, Lord, we pant after you. May the passion for you never run dry. Each day, continue to remind us not to forget. Not to forget who we are, who we serve, and what your pleasure is. Above all, help us to walk according to your will. Not ours, Lord, but your will be done. Blessed be God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now my voice is coming back. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right, we'll soon be going. We're going to do one more thing. We're going to give an offering this evening. And we're going to dance and give the offering. Hallelujah. Are you going to dance? The song we're going to sing for the offering, it actually asks you a question. Who is on the Lord's side? And it requires you to answer. So if you're not on the Lord's side, hold your peace. You know what that song reminds me of? Remember when the children of Israel were, were saved from Egypt and they got to the wilderness and Moses went up to the mountain to get the commandments from God and after that God sent him back go meet your people go and see what they're doing and Moses saw it and he was really upset and then he asked the question who is on the Lord's side come to me hallelujah so when I ask you who is on the Lord's side you say I am on the Lord's side that is if you are on the Lord's side you know this country is a democratic country so who is on the Lord's side only my choir members are on the Lord's side. That's good. More space for us in heaven. Who is on the Lord's side? I am on the Lord's side. Now you guys are taking the space in heaven. Who is on the Lord's side? I am on the Lord's side. Don't worry, there's enough space for all of us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's come dancing and rejoicing. Even if you don't know how to dance like me that has two left legs, just to come excited and give what you have to God. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a shout. Oh, I see. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. It's a wonderful thing to be in the presence of God, just worshiping and praising Him. Hallelujah. Indeed, we are on the Lord's side. Amen. The Bible says that praise is calmly for the upright. It's one thing, you know, we are going to do. If you don't like worship, you're going to be very bored in heaven. I'll tell you that in advance, free of charge. Amen. Because in heaven, we are all going to join the angels and we'll be worshiping eternally. Amen. But I also have a suspicion that there's going to be some, you know, lunchtime, breakfast time. Um, somewhere. Praise the Lord. There's going to be a meal in heaven. Amen. Are you happy about that? Yeah. Item 13. It's got to be there. Otherwise, some of us are going to be miserable. Amen. Well, my name is William, and I'd like to, you know, welcome you. I trust that you've enjoyed uh, yourself in the presence of God. This is where we meet every Sunday um, for worship from 10 a.m. to about half past 12. We are here. Amen. You know, this is a blessed church um, in, in many ways. We have a lot of professionals, and when they come to church, they are in church. They sing. Some of the people in the choir are uh, lawyers. Some are um, healthcare professionals. And some are social workers and so on and so forth. But we thank God that they still love God and they serve God. Amen. And we trust God that, you know, one of these days you would also find yourself part of this church. If you don't have a church you belong to, then make Joy Christian Center your church. We believe that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And we love our services to be more like a party than a funeral. Hallelujah. You know what I'm talking about? Because we are in uh, the Easter period. This is called Holy Week. And most of the time, you know, churches like to reflect the mood and be very holy. So they sing, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are saying that we are on the Lord's side. And as we lift our praise to heaven, the enemies will bow. May the enemies that are after you bow indeed in Jesus' name. Amen. I, I, I wish the Lord would open your eyes to see the damage you have done in the realms of the spirit. Whenever we worship God, things happen. Amen. And I pray that soon and very soon you will see the manifestations. Amen. All right. Just before I pray over the offering and I pray and you know, the, uh, send us home, I'd like to just acknowledge um, a few people here this evening because we have some special men of God, graced and women of God, of course, who are graced and uh, are blessed and I am blessed to be acquainted and be friends of um, these people and so of course you all know Pastor uh, Edward Tete he's ministered here some time before he's here with his beautiful wife Amen. Amen. Pastor Eddie is the senior minister of uh, Global Evangelical Church based in Streatham but he lives in Essex Amen how many of you believe that this is where Jesus, Jesus' is plane, the, the return flight, right? It will land in Essex, amen. At the moment, I'm negotiating to see if we can expand the car park um, for the plane to land there. But I believe that Jesus' return uh, flight is coming to Essex, amen. Because there are some anointed men in Essex. And he's here with his wife, Auntie Christine. Good, good to see you. Amen. Amen. Also, my very good friend and brother. Um, the last time he spoke in this church, uh, he was Brother Wala. <laughs> Amen. But now he's an ordained minister. So he's Reverend uh, Walanyo Anjiba. Amen. God bless you. <laughs> Stay, sister -in -law. Welcome, my dear sister. Good to see you. Amen. As soon as I saw him. And, um, you know, if I didn't mention you, just say to yourself, me too, I'm here. Oh, you are not convinced. Say, me too, I'm here. Amen. See, the Bible says that we are all fearfully and wonderfully made. Hallelujah. One pastor said you can be one or the other. Amen. <laughs> the choice is always yours. Praise the Lord. Are you glad you're in the house? 
So we're going to pray. I want to encourage you that don't think that because nobody laid hands on me, so nothing happened. Sometimes just the presence of God, you know, being in his presence alone can change a lot of things. Worshipping him and lifting up your voice to him. And remember, tomorrow is Resurrection Sunday. So I'm going to ask God that there will be a resurrection grace in your life. Hallelujah. That things are going to rise because you came tonight to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Our Father, you are the great and awesome one. The Bible says that you are fearful in praise. And Lord, we just want to thank you this evening. First of all, for giving us the strength to prepare ourselves and gather here this evening and lift up your name in worship and in adoration, in thanksgiving and in celebration. Father God, I pray for your people. Lord, there are some here who would have wished to sit at home and think about their situation, but chose to be here to praise you. I pray that for that step of faith, Lord, you will reward them with something that money can never buy. Lord, it is my sincere prayer that even as our praise and worship have ascended the heights of heaven, may you release your blessing of healing, deliverance, Lord God, the, the blessing of peace and joy. May it be released upon us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, scripture says that we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. And so tonight we pray that any scheduled program with anybody here's name on it, Lord, we cancel it in Jesus' name. Amen. We frustrate the plans of the wicked and evil one in the name of Jesus Christ. Any trap that has been set for you, Lord God, we dismantle it in Jesus' name. We ask, Heavenly Father, that the angel of your presence will go ahead of us, Amen. making every crooked path straight. Lord, exalting every valley and lowering every mountain for us in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, and we activate the grace of possibilities upon your people in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray specifically for that person that's got sleep difficulties that the Lord will give you peace Amen. and restful sleep in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it right now in Jesus name. And Lord as your people brought their offerings to this altar the altar is a place of sacrifice a place of spiritual exchange. Lord may every tear that is represented by this offering. May every pain, may every sorrow, may every rejoicing that has been wrapped around this offering come before you as a memorial. And fire, may you, Father, may you answer your people individually with the miracles that they are asking for, with the breakthroughs that they are expecting you to do. You are the one who make impossible things possible. And you said, whatever we ask in your name, you will do it for us. So tonight, we ask in no other name, but the name of Jesus Christ, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the resurrected Savior, the one who said it is finished. It is in his name that we have asked. And so I pray that forever, O oh Lord, your word alone will be settled in the heavens. Amen. And we give you thanks and we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, let everyone shout a big amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. Wow. Somebody say I'm blessed. Amen. amen. Um, I think the choir, they are being so practical today. So I've just been informed that there is item 13. Amen. I know. It's a JCC language, so let me initiate you. Okay? 
item 13 on the agenda is food. <laughs> All right. So there's some refreshment for you. Um, it's not the African kind of refreshments. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Do you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? When an African tells you there's refreshment, it means there's jollof rice, there's all the heavy weights, okay? So this is refreshment, English standard. So we don't get confused, all right? <laughs> there's refreshment for you after here. So please feel free, hang around, talk to your neighbor, your friend, get to know somebody, you know, get to connect with somebody, amen. You know something? Life is all about connection. Life is all about you know, connecting with other people. Amen. Nobody here um, got to this stage on their own. People have been part of your life. You think about it. Amen. When you went to school, somebody taught you how to write, how to speak and stuff like that. They made a contribution. Today, where are they? They're gone. Amen. Even when you came to this country, if you not, were not born here, Somebody took the time to orient you. Amen. Oh, I remember the first time I got on the tube. That's for another sermon. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I was so excited that I'm in London. And somebody was taking me to my first job, which was a cleaning job. I'll never forget that. TV Times, Tottenham Court Road. So I traveled from Elephant and Castle, and I followed the guy. I went to Tottenham Court Road and he showed me where I was going to work. I finished the work, did my two hours, and I went back to the station. Of course, I had my return ticket. Hallelujah. So I put it in the machine and he did kekri. You know, it opened. And I walked through. I said, yeah, I got it. Went down. And uh, there were two. <laughs> <laughs> and and what made, the, what made the matter worse for me was that when I was trying to work out which, you know, exit I will use, I heard choo -choo 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 -choo. the train was coming. I saw ah, that's my train. <laughs> so I jumped on it and I counted five stops. Like, just like when I was going, you know, I counted five stops. I said, this is one, this is two, this is three, three four, five. I look at it and it says nothing he'll get. I said, no. <laughs> something doesn't look right. There was something wrong with the tree. So, well, I had to go outside and call my brother. I didn't know. So, when I got there, I put the ticket in the machine and he did. And he disappeared. <laughs> I told you, this is what another said. <laughs> but I went out and I called my brother and I said, Look, I counted five stops exactly, but now I'm in a place and he says, Notting Hill Gate. And he said, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go down and take, I think it was the eastbound train or something, or westbound. And he said, When you get down the platform, just read what is on there and look for Bekalu line. You see, my brother contributed, although he's my brother, he helped me and oriented me. Praise the Lord. Somebody has always been a part of your life. So it's important to make connections with people. Amen. Even this story that I was telling, I told you, it was somebody who took me to my first cleaning job. He was a blessing. Hallelujah. So make friends with people, connect with people because, listen, Sometimes your destiny is in the mouth of the stranger you met. But until you talk to them, you will never know. Richard Branson apparently went to an event. And just when he was leaving, one Nigerian guy tapped him and he said, Oh, Mr. Branson, have you thought about, you know, applying Nigeria? And he stopped for a moment and he said, Oh, really? He said, uh, No. He said, I think you should think about it. And that's all the guy said. And that was how Virgin Nigeria was born. Praise God. He, he was making a lot of money, but he found that thing in the mouth of somebody from Nigeria. Amen. Imagine if Branson said, who is this guy? You know, you don't look like a millionaire. Why are you talking to me? It wouldn't have happened. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
So make friends. You don't know who is here today. So get to know somebody. Get to know their name. If possible, exchange numbers. You never know. If you are not married, maybe, may, just maybe, the Lord bless you. Amen. Refreshment. <laughs> Refreshment is available. So God bless you. And uh, if you are not going anywhere tomorrow, please come here. And let's do the resurrection together. God bless you and have a wonderful night. We are so grateful to have you. And God bless.